the problem with Fox. I mean, the, the let's thing, go for it. Well, go, no, but I mean, th this is the thing that I really yeah. um, that 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 was was of, of great interest and concern to me was the vaccine talk that you know Tucker Carlson was, and I, you know we could have a debate about you know the sources of COVID, but actively discouraging people from getting vaccines was a monstrous killing act on the part of Tucker Carlson. And I think that was appalling and a disgrace. And if you look at, you know, the death rates of people, um, you know, the, the, the people who didn't get vaccinated, um, and, and many of them in red states, in places where, you know, the, the conservative message was out there, I think that was a shameful, shameful thing that Tucker Carlson did. I don't care if he talks about Hunter Biden. I don't care if he talks about, you know, you know, po the, the, you know Democrats are terrible. Fine. That's that's mm -hmm. like opinions and everybody's entitled to that. But but the 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 vaccine talk was a shameful, shameful thing. And in Rupert Murdoch should be ashamed that he allowed that to go on. How closely you were you following the the Dominion lawsuit? Very close. OK. Yeah. Uh, how much of that? Uh, do you I think have a led big piece to, coming out about it in the New York Review okay, books. Okay, love to hear yeah, that. Yeah. How much of that do you think led to the beheading of Tucker Carlson? Well, that that's something that is a great question, and I don't know the answer to that. And and all the stuff I've seen in the press about Tucker about Tucker's firing has not been persuasive to me. You know, the New York Times had this big story that there was something he said in an email about someone. I forgot exactly Susan. what it was. It was Suzanne Scott. Suzanne yeah. Scott. Yeah. It was some like, and it was like, I, I cannot believe that that was the 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 basis for for fire. For yeah, reporters fire, yelling yeah. at their news director has been happening it's since been, before yeah, news forever. And 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 the departure of Tucker from from Fox as far as I can tell, at least so far, has had really bad business you, implications for them. I mean, yeah. they have not... Trump I mean, they called have, out Brett Baer pretty hard on that. Well, well yeah. and, and, and um, they, I, I, you know, we'll see when they appoint a new anchor to that mm -hmm. spot. Um, you know, one, one of the interesting things that has happened historically is that when... Um, um, What's his name? Beck. Uh, I'm forgetting. Glenn, Beck. Glenn, Glenn Beck. Beck left. You know, mm -hmm. his his influence diminished. When O'Reilly left, his influence diminished. When yep. Megyn Kelly left, her influence diminished. Mm -hmm. Katie well, Couric. Um, Katie. Well, I'm just talking about the Fox people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, it's true about Katie as well. well but I'm, I, I'm applying it across networks. Mm -hmm. And well, yeah, and so and you know, for all that these networks are declining, they are still the pathway to influence. Mm -hmm. Except for Tucker, way. though. Well, Except we'll for see. Tucker. We'll what see. he's doing on 60 Twitter. 60 million, yeah. 50 million, 30 uh, million, 70 okay. million? Uh, well, yes, for the first couple times. Let's see so how, there's two how things. So I want to I I push back. Yeah. I wanted to hear you out, okay. and I wanted you and Adam to go right, through yeah. questioning, but I'm going to jump in here for a couple things. So um, <clears throat> as a CEO of a company, uh, you know, I, I at first when you're a salesperson, I went from an employee to a salesperson to a sales leader to a business owner, and I had no clue what it was to be a CEO. Trying to be a CEO, you're gonna have people from all walks of life. Those that want this, those that are married, those that are single, those that are widowed, those that are divorced, those that are white, black. We're 54% Latino. We're 24% African American. We're 51% women. So I have people from all walks of life, different states. We're in 49 states. All this stuff, right? And you have to kind of pay attention to what people are saying. When COVID happened. We had a camp that got the vaccine. We had a camp that didn't get the vaccine. We had a camp that was undecided of wanting to get the vaccine. And it was interesting because it was getting political at one point because the guys that didn't take the vaccine, who were not going to take the vaccine, looked at the vaccine people in a interesting way of, why would you take the vaccine? Why would you put that in your body? You don't even know what's its own nine-month trial, all this stuff. And the people that took the vaccine would say, why would you be so irresponsible and not take the vaccine? And then you had the people in the middle. Like, look, I'm kind of undecided. I don't know what I'm going to do. We may, we may not. We're still waiting for three more months. Great. So when you say about the disservice Fox did Murdoch and Tucker, brother, one on the other side could say, dude, I was ousted, you coerced, judged, demonized for, you know, everybody was forcing it down my throat with videos and commercials and ads and people getting up there and saying, if you don't do this, you have to be fired. And if they don't do this, you don't bring them and see the other patient. If you don't do, let them go in the hospital, the military, this one. 
well, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Man, I just don't know if I want to take it yet or not. So I think the, when I when I ask and I see a trend, like, you know, the red pill uh, movement did very well for like a year and a half. These are men that are like, dude, I feel like I don't have any girls out there for me. There's no dates. All the guys are getting the hot girls and I don't have anything left for me. No one's interested in me. I'm alone, dude. I need a girl. I want to date somebody. This whole dating gap ruined my life. At least back in the days, if I'm in a little city, Toledo, and I like Karen, and she was only competing with 17 other guys, it was me versus 17, and I'm number three out of the 17 guys in my city. I have a chance with Karen. Today, Karen got one Instagram account. She got 16,000 DMs. There's no way I can compete with Karen, and they're willing to fly her out to go to New York. So the competition for the guys, they took a hit once the dating sites came out. There's there's a group of people. Karen, Karen must be pretty hot. She's well, so hot. It's the most yeah, trending wow. word the last three years, <laughs> and right. I can tell you it's probably going to be a name that we will not see for decades, yeah, yeah, the next Absolutely. 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. It's no. like there are no, kids, hot no, no kids named Adolf for years. <laughs> yeah, you know, That's I, right. Yeah. Karen. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, so the point becomes that community in the middle, when you see why these trends are doing well, there's a community that's like, look, you try to force down the vaccine on me. I didn't like that. I don't like what you did there as well. So when you say, I don't like what Fox did, there is tens of millions of people that can say, I can't stand what mainstream media did to judge me just because I wasn't ready to take the vaccine. You made me feel like shit to want to take the vaccine. You made me feel like I'm a moron because I'm not willing to take it. That part is a little bit double standard. It's not, a, it's not a, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a complete hardliner on this. I, I, tell, it, tell me what you mean it, by because that. Because is that, you know, in, 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 at CNN, and at Fox, you were not allowed in the building unless you were vaccinated. You think that's the right thing to do? I thought it was exactly the right. Tell thing me why? To do. Because it's a communicable disease that could that you could reduce the, your risk to yourself and to the people around you um, to a scientific certainty, and that that was a rule that was excellent. And I was glad CNN had that rule. I'm sure the people at Fox were glad they ha that had that rule, and um, you know. Again, this is not, you know, the, the, you're allowed to have opinions about anything you want, but at some point when your opinions put other people at, at physical risk, as, you know, vaccine denial did, that, that crossed a line. Do you know how ridiculous that is, what you just said? Because for, for you to say that, I can, I can hear someone saying that in Iran. I can hear somebody saying that in, in North Korea. I can hear someone saying that in China. I can see someone saying that even in Italy, although things are changing in Italy right now with their new leader that they have. I can see somebody saying that in Venezuela and Cuba. I can even hear Justin Trudeau saying that in Canada. Fine, it's fitting. America? But they Freedom? said that. They said Freedom? that the, the CEA. But it's you. You're not free to put other people in danger. Wait a minute. But dude. that's what that. That's you know. And and it wasn't me who said this. It was the leadership yeah. of these companies. Well, listen. There's a lot of people now that are sitting there saying you forced some people to take it. They had they had repercussions, side effects. It affected a lot of people negatively, and you forced it. And for us to sit there and say with a hundred percent that it was the right move to make with only nine months of data that they had. I think that's a little naive. Now, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. We can sit there and look at certain vaccines and say, okay. Like, you know, some, some people are like, none of them. You got to go. I don't know I'm saying that. There's certain ones like, listen, that we have 30 years of research on that. Polio. Game. Yeah. We have, do you realize what that did? Do you know what this saved? Do you know how many people but this we didn't, you know, We didn't have 30 years. I totally with, get that. With, yeah. But that's the point, though. The point of saying we didn't have 30 years is more of a reason to say it's a choice. You either take it or you don't take it. Wow. Well, I just you, disagree. I know. That's okay yeah, that's that fine. we disagree. All I'm saying is that the part where when you say, I don't like what Tucker did, Tucker spoke to a lot of people that were part of that camp. You know how many people in the military that love America, that love being a Marine, that love being you know, a Navy or mm. Air Force or Army were forced to leave their jobs they love? You know how many people? Nobody had, forced them to leave their oh, jobs. Oh, they had no choice. No, the, your your choice was to take the vaccine. And, and if then I you don't, don't have take to it, I'm out. Correct. Yeah, that's that's force. force. Correct. Well, that, that no, is force. The, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and that's a and that's a good thing. You think that's a good thing? Hundred percent. Okay, so let me go to a different direction because yeah. this force thing is trending a lot lately. Mm -hmm. What do you think about ESG and what BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street is doing? I, I, that's a, so completely different. But that's I, I'm not an force. expert in that. I don't know. Okay, you're not well, following I, I, the issue. I mean, I, I'm vaguely aware of it. But, but it's I, not something this, you have an opinion on. Not really. So then let's go no, back no. to this. So you're okay with 
us uh, 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 forcing something like that on somebody. So here's well, it's the. It's like we force we we you your kid can't go to school unless it's got the measles vaccine or the polio. Vaccine. Not all schools. This is why some well, people that's... leave and they can get religious exemptions. Oh, and I get God. it. Yeah, and I mean, those vaccines are also us. tested, whereas the For COVID vaccine was yeah. not. This and and then, and then uh, Jeff, what do you say to this? So t- on my show today, yeah. I have a captain. Army Captain Katie Hernandez coming on my show. They told her, if you don't get this vaccine, you are getting kicked out of the military. They forced her. She went to the, she went to the Capitol Hill, and they, they made her take it. Guess what she has right now? Myocarditis. Pat. She's driving in her car, and she felt like she had a heart attack. heart attack. What do you say to those people that were forced to do it because it's the government, and now she is suffering? She has heart problems. Because of something like that, you don't you don't know that the, the vaccine caused her. They're people. saying they said it. They said that she I did. I don't believe. But that. By, okay, <laughs> how she get myocarditis but, all of a sudden? She's a healthy twenty five year old girl. By the way, by the way, you also don't know that it didn't. I, I don't. So, but the point is that both of us could be right or wrong. That's the choice. You could be right. I could be right. except so, the the vast weight of scientific yeah. evidence was behind vaccines. Okay, so uh, not necessarily because we didn't have a lot of debate. Anybody that had an opposing argument, they got silenced. There were doctors out of Bakersfield. These two doctors that they got up there and they gave their argument. The video got twenty million views. Mm-hmm. First twenty four hours, the videos, all of them were taken down. They couldn't even give. These are doctors. Yeah, these are medical professionals that we're supposed to respect. You couldn't have an opposing argument. So again. Let me give you the leaks in this argument for a guy like me that I've been a registered independent for probably 20 years who liked Clinton and I voted for Clinton, but I voted both sides of the aisle as well. A, it, 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 when, when I sit there and I think about, for me, uh, if I uh, 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 have a, a girl pregnant and I chose to have unprotected sex with this girl and it's my responsibility when I had unprotected sex, for me, I'm going to sit there and say, hey, I took responsibility. I didn't have condom. I was excited. We had sex. You're pregnant. Whatever you choose to do, I support it. I'd support you having a baby. But it's your body, you got to do whatever you got to do. But if you want to have the baby, I got for a lifetime, I'm going to take care of this kid. I'm in. Okay? Great. That's my position. But for me to not listen to what women are saying is important to them, that's arrogant. Who the hell am I to not listen to their argument? What do you mean? No, you should do this. No, I'm a Christian man. I understand what my positions for my faith may be, but I have to hear you out for your argument. And it's not like it's 20% of women saying this. It's not like it's 8% of women saying this. It's in the 60s. Now, you see some places say 40, 50, 60. It's 67% some places. We've seen all these numbers. I have to hear them out, right? So the, the part where there's contradictions in the argument is why are you forcing women to have an abortion? Let them have the choice then why are you forcing me to take the vaccine? This is when the contradictions exposes hypocrisy and there's leaks in the argument. And an independent guy like me that's purely logical, data-driven, that's just kind of like I want to hear both sides of the argument. My mother was a communist. My dad was an imperialist. My entire life it was about debate. I mean, they, really. They <laughs> great, great dinner talk. No, no. Uh, yeah, I'm no. Telling, that's what, what I listened to. One yeah. thought rich people were greedy. The other one thought poor people were lazy. This was the <laughs> argument in my life that I had to listen to for 20 years. Mm-hmm. So for me, I want to hear both sides. And I say, you know what? The guys that don't want to take the vaccine, I think you have a valid point. I totally respect it. So I was my board and the investors one time. They're like, well, Patrick, we have to have a – were you on this – I don't know if you were on this call. Maybe, maybe – Immediately you, prior to me because yeah. I know who you're so talking we about. Had this, we had this board meeting and emergency board meeting. We didn't talk to Patrick. I'm the CEO and the chairman. Okay. Yes. Hey, um, what's your position on getting your guys to get vaccinated? What do you mean? Are you going to get your guys vaccinated? A lot of the guys are, and some of them are not. Okay, so are you thinking about sending somebody for these guys to take the vaccinations? So what do you mean? How about if we pay to send somebody to offices to get everybody vaccinated? I say, yeah, it's not my style. It's not what we started a company for. Well, let me tell you what it is. If you come into Citigroup, everybody's vaccinated. If we're going to go meet with these investment bankers that are thinking about buying our company or investing to our company, you have to be vaccinated. You can't go into the meeting. So we use the technology that you and I don't like. Zoom is what we use. Okay, so we had these meetings with these people and said, oh, let me tell you this. Da, 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 da. So, okay, we can only have the meeting there. All right, no problem. Uh, for preferably, I'm a face-to-face guy. I want to sit with you and talk to you. You know what I eventually did? I eventually made a video and I say, hey, guys, some of you guys are going to like this video. Some of you guys are not going to like this video. My recommendation to you all is the following. If you're vaccinated, don't force the other side or judge them if they're still going through the process of thinking about getting vaccinated. If you are not vaccinated, 
don't judge the other people that chose to get vaccinated. If you're wondering where I'm at, my wife and I and our kids are not yet vaccinated. But my dad, who is conservative, like at the highest level, like I'm talking like super conservative guy, he's not only vaccinated, he's got four boosters. And my nanny, who is not our nanny anymore, she's like a grandmother because she's been with us for 15 years. Like this woman, whatever she wants, everything's on me. I take care of this lady. She got vaccinated. And she has all the boosters. Both of them do. So it's not a, dad, why'd you do this? It's, dude, what, what do you want to do? Salute. This is what we're doing. So the part about Tucker that you're talking about, I think he tapped into an audience that was also relating to not wanting to be forced, and they want a choice. So I think there's a little bit of leaks in the argument of it's the right move to make to force people to take the vaccine. That's all I'm saying. I, I you know, a, as with a lot of issues... I know a lot of people don't agree with me, yeah, and that's mm-hmm. fine. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I you know, I, I'm not, I, I, you know, this is one of, you know, it's interesting about why people get into journalism, and um, I, I, when I used to work at the New Yorker, I, I would, um, we, there, there was a very elaborate fact checking process. And the fact checkers tended to be young and kind of idealistic, and and th- th- this scene often often hap- would happen. I'd write about a controversial thing, and sometimes a fact checker <clears throat> would say to me, "You know, when your story comes out, what do you think's going to happen?" And and they say, "You know, what do you think's going to happen?" And and I said, "You know what's going to happen? People will read it and they'll go, hmm, interesting." And that's all. That's fine. I mean, that's all I I wanted out of out of my journalism. I am not someone who you know writes and goes on TV or writes books because I want to change the world. I want to tell stories that are interesting, that are thought provocative. I have certain opinions. I have an opinion about vaccines, but you know, other people mm-hmm. disagree. I'm not. You know, that's fine. I, I got to say this to you, though. But but yeah. I got to say this to you. Yeah. Uh, you, we've never broke bread. We've never right. had a conversation. The first time you and I met was two hours ago, Correct. right? My experience with you of these two hours, I've enjoyed my experience with you. I have respect for the fact that you can come here and you're respectful. If I'm given a different side, some things we agree on, some things we disagree yeah. on, your way of handling that is super respectful and I applaud you for that. I got a lot of respect for people that can do that. I think we need more of this because I think at the end of the day, you know who won on today's show? Not you, not me, the people that are watching this. Right. They get to sit there and say, he made a good point. They get to sit there and say, I disagree. They get to, Pat, I agree. I disagree. I, they get to do that part. That's all we can do. Simple as that, a great conversation. Hey, if you enjoyed this short clip, you want to watch the whole thing, click over here. But if you want to make 2023 the beginning of the greatest years of your life, I host a conference once a year. It's called the Vault Conference, where 3,000 CEOs, executive entrepreneurs from around the world come together to strategize for three and a half days. This year, it's going to be at Miami Diplomat Resort. And the speakers this year is going to be Tom Brady. He'll be there. I'll be interviewing him. Mike Tyson, Will Gadara, the guy that ran 11 Madison in New York. If you run a business, if you're a CEO, entrepreneur, and executive, this is not an event you want to miss out on. Get yourself, your spouse, your business partner, your running mates registered, and I look forward to seeing you there. Click on the link here or see the link in the description, and I hope to spend three and a half days with you in Miami in August and September. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.